Harry and Meghan's lives exposed, they pay the Sussex squad to attack Princess Catherine. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have acknowledged the Sussex squad for their role in helping raise funds for their charity. However, not all royal experts were on board with the move. Lady Colin Campbell joined Dan Wooten on GB News. Wooten asked the Diana and Private author about her thoughts after Prince Harry acknowledged the Sussex squad for helping his charity raise funds as he wondered if, by doing so, he was encouraging his rabid trolls. Campbell said, Well, of course, that's exactly what he's doing. And of course, they also get paid because if you look at the Archwell's account, you'll see that they pay their media people as well, and that ends up being the Sussex squad. Campbell then shared her thoughts about the Sussex squad and how allegedly toxic they are. She said, They're called the Sussex squad for a very good reason. They're full of hatred. They've threatened the lives of the present Princess of Wales. They've said the most dreadful things about what they'd like done to the children. I mean, it's beyond belief that Harry and Meghan can think it's appropriate to pay people like this and to give them any recognition at all. This should be stove to annihilation. Wooten also noted that the Sussexes have been promoting kindness and cleaning up the internet. However, their trolls are the most vicious and the most nasty. British journalist Phil Dampier was also a guest during the conversation. Wooten asked the royally suited, Harry and Meghan in their own words author, his thoughts about the same issue. Dampier clarified that he had no problem with Prince Harry acknowledging their supporters, the Sussex squad. However, he disapproved of their silence in addressing the online trolls that side with them. Dampier said, I don't have any problem with him thanking them for fundraising. But where I do agree is that to my knowledge, Harry and Meghan have never spoken out about the online trolls that go on. Some of it does get very vicious, death threats, etc. According to a recent report, Prince Harry has been accused of resurrecting family issues for his own benefit. Royal expert Robert Lacey weighed in on the Duke of Sussex's various projects, ahead of his attendance at King Charles's coronation. Is Prince Harry profiting from family turmoil? Royal historian Robert Lacey, the author of the 2020 book Battle of the Brothers, William and Harry, the inside story of a family in tumult, claims that Prince Harry is becoming a figure of fun in the United States. Lacey's comments came after Prince Harry released his memoir Spare in January. The book contains several allegations against his brother Prince William, sister-in-law Catherine, stepmother Queen Camilla, and father King Charles. Lacey, speaking on GB News, argued that Prince Harry's actions could overshadow his father's significant event, the coronation. He stated, At this moment of such importance in his father's life, he's resurrecting these matters for essentially his own profit. A recent survey indicated that Prince Harry's net approval rating was 20%, with 26% of respondents disliking him. His popularity fell after he and Meghan released their Netflix docuseries, Harry and Meghan, which unveiled numerous issues between the Sussexes and the royal family. Prince Harry's alleged support for his father, Talk TV's royal correspondent Sarah Hewson, also shared her thoughts on the matter. She believes that the Sussexes' interview with Oprah Winfrey strained the relationship with the royal family, stating, There's no doubt that the Oprah interview, the Netflix documentary and the book Spare have caused immeasurable damage to the relationship between Harry and his family.